This morning, we continue to honor Black History Month with a great story about two trailblazing young women on ice. They are figure skaters at Howard University working to expand opportunities for black college students. Tomorrow, the university will become the first historically black college and university in the country to take part in an intercollegiate figure skating competition. Michelle Miller, she laced up her skates to meet the two students who met in an unexpected way and teamed up to make their school the hottest ticket on ice. Who stocked who? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Junior Maya James achieved her dream of a figure skating team at Howard University by turning to Google to find other skaters, and then skated right into the DMs of senior Cheyenne Walker to break the ice. I stalked Cheyenne a little bit, you know. <laughs> just a little. Just a little, you know. I wouldn't call it stalking, though. I would call it using her resources yeah. and research. Yeah. yeah. Both on skates since the age of seven, Walker grew up training with the group Figure Skating in Harlem. But with no figure skating program at any historically black university like Howard, Walker had to give up the sport she loved to go to the college she wanted. I loved Howard, but I also wanted to continue to skate. So it was like, which one do I choose? Together, they set out to change that. But with no ice rink on campus, the pair quickly found forming a team was, well, as hard as landing one of these synchronized jumps. How do we get ice time? How do we get coaching? How do we do outreach to members on our campus? With few figure skaters on campus, James and Walker got creative and recruited ice hockey players like sophomore Tony Smith. Smiling, like majestic on the ice. I'm like, I wasn't like that before, so. So why did, why did they want you on the team? Honestly, because it's Howard's first year, uh, there's not a lot of black like figure skaters don't come here. They don't know that it's an option. Smith had been skating since she was two, but admits this was all new. There's got to be a difference between hockey skating and figure skating. Yeah, I'm actually having somewhat of a difficult time. Uh. <laughs> the team also had a difficult time finding a full-size rink to practice in after they discovered the only indoor public ice rink in the nation's capital currently looked like this, waiting to be rebuilt. So each week, the team pays to rent this rink near the University of Maryland. Bend your knees. And between practices at this community rink, the Howard students help others find their footing on skates. To come and see them just get on the ice and be happy, fall but laugh, <laughs> like I love that. Now as Walker graduates, she's leaving James at the helm. Having this opportunity to lead the club will definitely help her figure out that she has all the potential and that she's able to do everything. So I'm excited. Why are you crying? You know, it's just so sweet. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. So sweet. Yeah. Because. I don't know, it has been a lot of work. Knowing the team is firmly planted. Do you guys see yourself as a team being a real contender in the next five to 10 years? Yeah, I do actually see us. Um, I think we could definitely be a contender in the future. Well, as you well know, I'm a proud Howard grad. I'm going to be rooting for them tomorrow when the team takes to the ice for the first time at a tournament in Delaware. But this wow. is really mm. about HBCUs changing the game, entering yeah. winter sports in a way. You know, Tennessee State University announced a hockey team. And it's about belonging. Black yes. folks belong in these sports. Hockey in, a, in North America, yeah. first league was a black league in wow. Nova Scotia. That's right. And people like Mabel Fairbanks, first black figure skater, not allowed to compete in the 20s and 30s. She went on to coach the likes of Scott Hamilton, Debbie mm. Thomas, the first mm. black Olympian. Mm. Many people oh. don't even know her name. Wow. But they I love don't. that these two found each other, Michelle, mm. and now what they're starting at Howard. And, it's and amazing. What, yeah, it is amazing. And yeah. what they're finishing and what they are continuing. That That's right. legacy. That's awesome. Saying, hey, so we we've need, been here before. Yeah. Mm. We need to cheer them on tomorrow in Delaware. That's yes, right. we do. Yes. Shout out to HU. Yeah. HU, you know. No. <laughs> All right, Michelle, appreciate you.